Melissa. In this video, I'm gonna give you a little hack if you have a DTF printer and you are printing DTF transfers, of course. Okay, so here's the thing. We all know that no matter what DTF printer you have, the white ink is the most expensive. So there's a hack that you can use, this one that I'm going to share with you today, that you can basically save as much white ink as possible. So here's the thing. If you know that your DTF transfers are going on a white shirt, don't print white. Here's the thing. These two transfers, one that, first of all, they both were printed on this F2100, but the same thing applies whether you have um, a Prestige, an STS, a, a Roland BN20D, a Uninet 100, no matter what DTF printer you have, if you turn off the white on transfers that are going on white shirts, you will save white ink, obviously. So as I said, these two transfers were both printed on the Roland, or excuse me, on the Epson F2100. And as you can see, one had white behind it and one did not. And they look, as you can see, almost identical. So I'm gonna show you how this works um, using the F2100, okay? But again, the process is exactly the same. It's just how you have to turn off the white in whatever uh, rip or software you are using. So here in Garment Creator, what we're going to do is first, I'm going to print one that has white and then next, I am going to print the exact same thing without any white. So over here in my layout, in my print settings, you can see that I have under white turned on. So I'm just gonna press print and that is going to print on our transfer film here on the F2100. When that's done, I will print the other one. Now this has to be done when you're doing it simultaneously like I'm trying to do. It has to be done, um, you, you cannot print them both, one with white, one without at the same time. Not that you would because I'm just doing it as a comparison. Uh, but for you, you would want to just make sure that whatever software you're using, again, whether that's VersaWorks, whether that's CAD Link, whether that's some other type of rip, you can turn off the white. Now, this is also even if your design has white in it because that will just be transparent and it will show through the transfer the white shirt, okay? Now this obviously does not work for dark shirts, okay? If you're using a dark shirt or any color shirt, you do need at least some level of white behind. That's what makes those colors pop. So let's watch this one come out. And then what I'm gonna do is return to Garment Creator in this instance, and I'm going to turn off the white and print the exact same one. We will cure it, and then I will press it onto the shirt, and you're gonna see how they look just exactly the same. While we're waiting, I should say, if you're looking for a comparison between a bunch of different DTF printers, I have those videos and tutorials on Silhouette School blog as well, so check those out. Okay, so here is the, the version that has white. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm just going to go over here in my software. I'm going to move this design over, and I'm going to go to the um, under white, and I'm going to click off. Okay, let that process. And then I'm going to reprint. Hopefully it will hit right over here. Now, the other thing that this does, aside from saving white ink, is it also is saving time. Because if you don't have, every single DTF printer prints color and then prints white, whether they do it in, you know, the simultaneous passes like color than white or like the BN20D, uh, what it does is it prints all CMYK and then all white. That takes the longest amount of time, but what you will see is the fastest is if you only have to print the color, which in this case we will, but I want you to see, so there's a lot of different benefits from to this. One, you're saving white ink. Two, you're saving time. And three, because there's not two layers of ink, you're actually getting an even softer hand on your DTF presses as you are. So a lot of benefits to not printing white on DTF transfers that are going to go on white shirts. Okay, so that one was done. You, it literally took half the time. All right, so where do I put those scissors? I'm going to just trim this because I can use the rest of this transfer sheet later. Try to keep it flat because we need to cure it. So we will now move over to my curing station. Okay, so my, my curing oven is set to 120 degrees uh, Celsius and also 120 seconds. So I like to actually keep it in uh, Celsius 
because then I can remember it's 120 and 120. Okay, so we got powder on everything. Now, you can see, no white ink, white ink, okay? We'll cure them at the same time. Make sure you have your filter on and going. Get out any of that. And this will go for, again, 120 seconds. So I'll meet you back here when this is done. Okay, so here is our transfer. Very, very obvious. One has white, one does not, okay? From the front, they look almost identical. From the back, you can definitely tell a difference. So I have my white shirt here all ready to go. This is hot peel, I mean, excuse me, cold peel, so we'll just have to wait afterwards. Now, this one on the left is the one that does not have white, okay? This one has white, so we'll be able to remember no white, white. No white, white. Okay, we're gonna press. Now, normally you don't wanna put anything on top of this. My heat press has some sticky stuff on there that sometimes pulls the transfer off and I haven't remembered to clean it, so I'm just pressing with a butcher paper there um, for 10 seconds at 338 degrees. Okay, so 338 Fahrenheit, 10 to 15 degrees. We're gonna then wait until this cools and then we will peel off the transfer the um, DTF film, okay? So very hot still to touch. I'm using um, this slide out heat press, which is really beneficial because then I don't even have to take it off of the press. It's not getting heat this way. It might take a little bit longer, but you know, I don't have to basically reload it. So we'll wait. Okay, so it's probably been two minutes or so. This is pretty cool now. So again, you wanna make sure that if you're using cold peel film that you wait for this to, to be cold to peel it off. Now, I will say that as you peel this off, you wanna make sure that if anything starts to, any of the transfer starts to peel with it, you stop and just wait, okay? All right, so we'll peel this. This is coming off very well. Remember, no white, white. Okay clean peel, all right? Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna repress this, okay? So this time you do wanna use a cover sheet. I'm using um, a T-seal, which I use for white toner prints and also um, eco-solvent. So I actually like to use this for a lot of different things. So I'm gonna press it this way and we will do it again for about 10 seconds. This is going to get the uh, DTF fiber, or the DTF transfer into the fibers of the shirt even more for even a less, less of a hand. Okay. Then we will peel that off and perfection. Now, what I can tell you, and I'm going to give you a close up, is the one without the white is actually more vibrant. It's, it can be difficult to see and no one's going to have anything to compare it to, but if you look at this here and this and these these colors directly next to each other the one on the left the one with with um no white is actually more vibrant so what i will tell you based on looking at the side by side based on the fact that you will save white ink you will save time you will sa save uh and you will get a softer hand and more vibrant prints definitely definitely turn off that white ink if your dtf transfers are going on a white shirt now if you don't know if you're just selling your transfers um, to another user who's going to put it on a shirt, you may want to say, you know, these are for white shirts, these are for any other color shirts, and maybe you have a price differential there because, you know, you're not using as much um, as much um, ink. You're not waste not wasting time but you're not spending as much time if you're trying to figure out how much um the price difference is for um how much white ink you're saving which is actually where the biggest expense is when you're talking about dtf uh transfers the epson garment creator has a um calculator for the job so you can go in there and compare the two i if you're not sure how to use it i actually have another video on how to use the um job calculator in Epson Garment Creator so you can decide. If you guys are looking for a lot more videos on whatever DTF printer you have, I have videos on um, obviously the Epson uh, F2100, on the Roland BN20D, on the Prestige. I have videos coming on um, both the STS and also on um, the Uninet 100. So check all of those out. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help with your DTF printer or software or any other cutting or um, printing machine, you check out the videos that I have here. I also provide one-on-one -on -one help through uh, Silhouette U and don't let the name fool you. We do a lot more than Silhouette.